The Beautiful Beetle Book What is a beetle? A beetle is an insect. It has a hard outer covering, wings, chewy mouth parts, and antenna. Beetles are the largest group of insects. They also are some of the most interesting. A beetle's body has three parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. A beetle has a four-step life cycle. It starts out as a tiny egg, then it changes into a larva, or grub. Next, it turns into a pupa. Finally, it becomes an adult beetle. Beetles have amazing bodies. Their bodies are specially designed to help them do many jobs. The rhinoceros beetle is one of the strongest insects. It can carry up to 850 times its own weight. Beetles are a wide variety of colors. Bright colors warn attackers that a beetle might be poisonous. Beetles have hard wing cases. Some wing cases are metallic, red, or green. Glowing beetles. Some beetles have body parts that light up. They use their special lights to attract other beetles. Many beetles hide from danger. Some pretend to be leaves and others bury themselves in the dirt. Some use camouflage stripes to blend in with their surroundings. Water beetles. Some beetles live in the water. They swim using their legs as paddles. The whirligig be beetle floats on the surface of the water. Its eyes can see above and below the water at the same time. The great diving beetle sticks its bottom out of the water to get more air. Strange beetles. There are more than 300,000 kinds of beetles. Some of these beetles look very strange. The giraffe beetle has a very long neck. The goliath beetle is as big as a human hand. The sharp jaws of the African long-horned beetle make it look very frightening. If you would like to see beetles up close, make a beetle box. Use a small cardboard box with a lid and have an adult punch some holes in the lid. Catch some beetles and put them in the box with some leaves. Don't forget to let them go afterwards. To find beetles, look on the ground, on leaves and flowers, and under rocks and logs. Or turn over a pile of dirt and dig through the soil to look for beetles. Beetles can sense danger. So if you move your hand towards a beetle on a leaf, it will pull in its legs and drop to the ground. So put your hand under the leaf to catch it. The Beautiful Beetle Book by Sue Unstead The Spectacular Spider Book Did you know that spiders belong to a group of animals called arachnids? They are invertebrates, <clears throat> which means that they don't have a backbone. They're found in many places anywhere they can find insects to eat. A spider's body is covered by a hard, stretchy skin called an exoskeleton, and as the spider grows, it molts. It sheds its skin for a larger skin underneath. The head and chest make up the front part of the sp spider's body. The back part of the spider is called the abdomen, and it also has spinnerets, which are on the back of the abdomen, they spin silk for the spider's web. Some spiders build webs to help them catch food. 
Using a claw on its hind leg, a spider pulls silk out of its spinnerets. The liquid silk hardens into a strong, stretchy thread. A spider can spin a web every hour. That's right, it only takes about an hour to spin a web. And many spiders build a new one each night. When a spider feels movement in its web, it quickly heads towards its prey. Half of all spiders, though, don't even spin webs to catch their food. Instead, they catch prey by stalking and jumping. When the spitting spider spots an insect, it squirts two lines of poisonous gum from its fangs to pin down its prey. A Portia spider shakes the webs of other spiders. This makes the spiders come out of their hiding places and then the Portia spider pounces on them. Tarantulas are the largest, hairiest spiders. Although they look scary, most tarantulas are shy and avoid danger. Some tarantulas eat lizards, mice, and even small birds. A spider has venom or poison in its fangs. It uses its poisonous bite to kill its prey and to defend itself. About 30 different species of spiders are dangerous to humans. The Australian redback spider usually avoids people, but sometimes it comes into contact with them because it hides in buildings. Female spiders use their silk to make egg sacs. They guard the egg sacs in their webs or carry them in their jaws or under their bodies. Baby spiders called spiderlings will hatch from the eggs. Spiderlings of the female wolf spider cling to the special hairs on her back for about 10 days after they hatch. Most spiderlings break out of their eggs with a special tooth called an egg tooth. At first they can't feed or spin silk. About a week after they have hatched, they molt and separate from each other. Once the spiderlings can feed and spin silk, they set off to find a home of their own. They fly off on silken threads that catch the breeze. This is called ballooning. Some spiders live close to the water where they hunt but they will always eat their prey on land. Many kinds of spiders live peacefully in our gardens and homes. Most are useful because they eat insect pests that can carry diseases. The Spectacular Spider Book by Valerie Davies